Welcome back, viewers. I hope you enjoyed our wonderful and brief interview with Costa Zoo, and that interview has taken place all the way in New York City. Yeah, you, you like the build, or is it? <laughs> <laughs> now let's have a look at some of the icons that we have interviewed in this past series. The first interview, we traveled all the way to Florida, USA, and I was privileged enough to have one of the last interviews with the greatest boxing trainer in history, Angelo Dundee. Just looking back at the history of the fight, I think it was about 30 newspapers, 29 said Ali would not win, one said he would. Uh, what made you think it beats Listen, who had the best jab in history? Well, first of all, you never go into a fight figure you're going to lose. <laughs> you figure you're going to, you got a shot to win, that's why you're there. And uh, naturally, you prepare yourself to get the fight, to win the fight to win. So uh, I thought we would win, and naturally, well, I said you're, you're rooting because you're working with the fighter. Well, that naturally, when you stop doing that, then you might as well get out of it and then forget about boxing. No, very interesting, very intriguing. Uh, I did a lot of homework on Sonny Liston pre-fight. It worked out, and uh, whatever we utilized worked. And Muhammad, it's history now. I've known Muhammad since he's 16 years old, and uh, we've been friends from day one. We're friends to day now, and uh, I can't tell you what a nice feeling to have that. Our second interview was with the world's most successful sevens player, and that man, as you all know is our country cousin, Eric Rush. Yeah, 24 marriages on that trip, man. It was awesome. <laughs> it was eight weeks. And man, it was paid all the time, but because Buck was the captain, yeah. disciplined man. Yeah. And we had a good team, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. So we got him there, and there was a moat around the field, so the supporters couldn't get on the field. Right. And we know why, because they're crazy, man. <laughs> Throwing shit at us, and, you know. And these guys, the Tordo and Shop, were just meatheads, punching and kicking. <laughs> And Marys, you know, mm -hmm. man, we're not shy of That's giving right. in a fight, you Absolutely. know. And Buck, and Buck was here, lucky man. He says, just keep the discipline, and we'll beat these guys. So we got a few points ahead, few points ahead, right. and they kept. <laughs> and then one of them, the halfback, he kicked out a prop for the Chris Carpenter, mm -hmm. knocked them out cold, they oh. took him off. So while they're carrying him off, we had a bit of a huddle. Buck comes in and says, there's going to be a fight at the next lineup. <laughs> I see any of you <laughs> hanging back, I'll give you a hug myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it was our penalty. Buck said, kick it out. <laughs> kick it out. Lined up in the lineup. <laughs> and it wasn't only Buck and Zinni. The Zinni's two brothers, Robin Brook and Marty Brook. Right, right, right. They, they were <laughs> meatheads, man. <laughs> and, and like I said, me and Mary, we're not shy of a fight. Yeah, These fellas forget that, you know. <laughs> so we like to say, when... So Hawker grabs the ball, and he hasn't even gone like this. Zinni's in front of me marking this fella, coming at him. And I'm marking Eric Shop, he's way up here, man. And Zinni's standing there, the boy has a whack! <laughs> so, oh! <laughs> right down the blind, man, back, man. Next minute, Alpha Stone in front of Boruch and all he got from flying in from the backs. <laughs> and that was, it was a big oh. fight the rest of the game. And <laughs> yeah, we won that too, you know? <laughs> So, oh, it was awesome, oh, mate. Man. Oh, and afterwards, in the change of area, it was like, far out, that was awesome, <laughs> man. Uh, but uh, yeah, there was uh, the French Federation came in and they apologised. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we, we held our call for yeah, a long time. The Bucks said, sorry, yeah. mate, but we had had enough yeah, by the end. Sure, sure. And the guy says, no, that you're entirely correct. You know? Oh, that was good, eh? So he yeah. sent out the, the edict to all the teams that were about to play. Anybody else plays like that, yeah. you'll never play in France again. Wow. And every game after that was clean, you know, but uh, that one. Wow, but, okay. He's, uh, but uh, he has that presence as, yeah, a, yeah, as a yeah. captain? Well, he just said it, no fighting. And that's it? And that's it, no one fought. And everyone was itching for it, mate. Yeah. Everyone was, and especially after the intimidation. And, oh, <laughs> man, it was shocking. But uh, as soon as Bucks let the, let the leash off, it was up oh, man, it was good fun. <laughs> Our next interview, was with the world's greatest number eight rugby player. And that man is Buck Shelford. And viewers, I would not like to meet him in a dark alley. Eric Rush, he said he went on the Mary tour with you. Yeah. You, Zinzan Brook, Eric Rush, that was six, seven and eight, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he said, 
the mayor, they were out of control, but as captain, when you laid down the law, it was that was the oh, law. Because I'd punch them myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time I've smacked one of my own team. <laughs> oh, just... Yeah, guys, so, you know, most of the time, you know, some of those Maori boys, you know, just, was just, you know, Oi! What do you reckon do? <laughs> you know? Because they'd be always trying to do something, you know? That's right, that's you know, right. And saying, so hey, settle down, you know, in the bars especially. <laughs> oh... You just got to watch them all the time because you know they're going to get up to mischief. <laughs> incredible, absolutely incredible. And no doubt it happens in all the other teams, yeah, the Polynesian sure. team. Yeah. You always got one or two of mischief. <laughs> and they do get up to mischief, so you're watching them all the time. <laughs> Eric Rush, when he was describing, he had the fear of God in him. He reckons, he reckons one day when you're playing with him, he reckons he's, you said that if you beat him, if Eric, you said, Eric, if you beat me, <laughs> to the breakdown, <laughs> I'm going to punch your lights out. <laughs> Tell me that's not true. No. <laughs> okay.